We Make Movies is recorded in front of a live audience in Los Angeles and is hosted by WeMakeMovies.org. My name is Amanda Lippert and I'll be your host for How We Make Movies. Tonight we'll be talking with Christine and Hannah Walker of New Globe Films, um, an indie, uh, independent feature film production company that specializes in low-budget artist-driven films. Christine and Hannah are a mother-daughter production team based in Los Angeles with heavy ties to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Please give a warm welcome to Christine and Hannah. So after um, deciding to start your own production company, uh, you went to Sundance, and is that after that is when you started Work, Work, Work? No, I, I produced a number, well, I made my film, premiered at Sundance, I thought, oh wow, you know, I'm just gonna skyrocket to the top, and <laughs> then I realized, oh my gosh, that. I gotta sell the film, and it what didn't turn out exactly as I wanted it to, and um, and so there was the hard, the, the hard road of, of distribution and so forth, and what happens is you're done with your film, and I was even nominated for an Independent Spirit Award as a new producer, so it was really a great um, thing for my career, but, uh, but then you have to stare the next film in the face and go, oh my gosh, I got to do this again, and nobody's just writing me a check, and uh, <laughs> the, the you know the prizes aren't you know coming out of nowhere. Hannah, you were born at some point in the middle of all this. Yes, <laughs> that did happen. What was I it think like? We, had product, we were running production out of our house, and she was born or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you were literally born into film. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, it's it's something that I've always been around, and like she was saying, you know, having a a parent who is an independent film producer that oftentimes meant, you know, um, literally having film in my house, and so we, um, you know, had production offices based out of there, and we had kickoff parties and rap parties and. You know, as I grew a little bit older, that kind of uh, turned into, you know, when my mom was really busy and mm -hmm. she needed some help, I would do a script breakdown for her when I was 12 years old. Or, um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, <laughs> I uh, would read scripts for her and provide coverage. And mm -hmm. that's, and that's so, gonna be hard. I, yeah. I, my parents own a construction company in Cincinnati and yeah. I worked for my parents for a while and I had to leave at a yeah. certain point. <laughs> it was hard. Uh, yeah, so yeah. when I was looking at <laughs> No comments. <laughs> in, a, um, in a sea of scripts, I know you do a lot of the script writing, in a sea of scripts that you get submitted every day, how does a writer distinguish themselves amongst all the other writers? And, and what's some of the biggest turnoffs when reading new scripts? Mm -hmm. um, as far as turnoffs go, I would say um, my biggest turnoff is when we received um, unfinished work. You know, a lot of times we will get drafts of scripts, mm -hmm. um, and especially when we receive drafts from writers we've never worked with before, um, it's really difficult to evaluate the project and the writer because it's not finished. You know, when you're submitting a script, you're asking us to take the time, to take our time to read your script and evaluate it and get back to you, which you know, we're happy to do and that's, you know, part of our job, but mm -hmm. I think as a writer it's your responsibility to also put in your time and, you know, make sure it's ready to be submitted and so. Yeah, I just don't send the word letter documents. saying, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sending you this version but I'm working on the new draft. It's like, I'm not going to read two drafts. And if it's if you're sending, and I'm pretty, again, sympathetic, having been a writer myself, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sympathetic. And I will say, look, just send me the new draft because mm -hmm. you should send the work that you're most happy with. And that will be, hap that will be great for all of us. And there are times when actually, and this is what I want to say too, I've actually been willing to provide notes to people. It's really above and, and beyond some, you. It is above and beyond <laughs> because I like notes myself. But, um, and some, pe I've had someone write back to me saying, look, save your notes. I just, I just need you to get me an agent and then I'll get the notes from the agent. Seriously. Wow. I'll get the notes from the agent, then I'll make the changes. <laughs> As producers, how much control do you have or care to have over the finished pr product creativity-wise? 
I want the director to direct their, his or her movie, and I want to support and, and facilitate that vision. And that's been the story of my career. Mm -hmm. My films attest to that. That said, for New Globe Films, one of the things that we've really had long conversations about and talked about, that is that we've finally got to the place where we actually want to make films that audiences <laughs> want to see. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> right, <Imagine that. laughs> and our on our business card it says audience matters, and shockingly that wasn't my priority in the early part of my career. My priority, having come from academics, having come from the nonprofit world, was facilitating this one person's vision. Mm -hmm. Right now it's about I want the audience to watch the films, and. Enjoy the experience. So, so for me, we and we talk to our directors and our writers up front about this is our mission. It's not just about facilitating your vision so that you can watch the film by yourself <laughs> with your friends. <laughs> with your friends, <laughs> it's about facilitating your vision, and hopefully, we've all, you know, hopefully, it's we've all agreed that it's a vision that audiences want to see. Mm -hmm. But if some adjustments need to make and the uh, need to be made in the process of development and in editing and whatever, then we are going to work hard to help you understand what those changes might be. So you say that from the very beginning. Yeah, you take we do. a writer on, like mm -hmm. the script might completely change. Yeah. You might completely redevelop it. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean that completely because we all fell in love with it for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. But we start and say these are our notes. This is what we. You know, this is what we think could be improved. And if you don't really agree with that, that's fine. You know, we, we shouldn't work together because we all want to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. But so so that's really important in the first part of the process, getting on the same page even when you get, you know, outside the gate. But then there is the development process. There's the packaging process. There's the financing process. Mm -hmm. And you want to do Kickstarter and you say to the director, hey, can you... You know, we want to add a role. You know, we want to give somebody a line. Are you willing to cast somebody who paid a thousand dollars for the film, even though they might not creatively fit your vision? Those are conversations you have to have. And mm -hmm. so we kind of, I've learned over the years that I just want to have that conversation up front. Right are up you front. willing to have that conversation? And I totally respect you if you're not. Mm -hmm. Um, then that's, you know, then then we shouldn't work together because I want to be able to have that right. conversation. But I don't want you to do something that you feel uncomfortable about. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like. Thank you yeah. so much, guys. <laughs>